In this new series, I'll be showcasing all kinds of useful 3D prints, and if there's something you want me to design and print that you may think might be useful, let me know in the comments and that could be the next video in this series. In this first episode, we're going to see what I think is the best small item organizer. Now you may just say it just looks like a bunch of drawers, but what's special about these is that each drawer is made up of small individual different size boxes or containers. There are seven different size containers. The smallest is a one by one. You also have a two by one, two by two, three by one, four by one, one by two, and a four by two. You can configure these containers in the drawers in any way you want to make any configuration to meet your exact needs. There's also a handle for you to pick up the container and not create a mess in your work area. This handle also provides a place where you can put a label for that container. It doesn't stop here. Each drawer can be closed with a sliding lid in case you want to take it somewhere, put it somewhere or whatever you want to do with it. And when the lid is closed, the items will not get disorganized even if you shake it and flip it around. So with all these different containers, it's up to you to organize each drawer exactly how you want it. For example here, I have an electronic components drawer organized in their specific containers. And here I have breadboard wires organized in their specific containers based on their size. There's also a special kind of a container which is a 2 by one but has a separation in the middle. Now this is for components that are similar but maybe have a variation. For example here I have the same transistor but each transistor has a PNP and an NPN type. So they are together but still separated and organized by their type. Another example where this might be useful is these voltage regulators. It's the same voltage regulator but one is for 3.3 volts and one for 5 volts. You still want these items in the same place, but you still want them separated so you can easily and quickly access them. You could have used the one by one boxes for this, but then they can get separated and you always have to keep track of them and make sure they are together. Each drawer can also hold itself. So if you want to, for example, quickly grab something from a drawer, you can just pull the drawer halfway out and get what you want very easily and quickly and just put the drawer back. I have also designed this in a way where it takes least amount of printing material and printing time while still being strong enough to hold all the drawers and the items inside with no problems. And that in my opinion is the best small item organizer. It's simple and effective and it makes your workflow more efficient and enjoyable. If you have any ideas on how to improve it or any additions, let me know in the comments and I might make another version of this. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed or found this video useful. I'll be uploading lots more interesting projects very soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.